Let's talk about the difference between infected and affected dentin. If caries is left long enough to penetrate enamel surface and as it reach the underlying dentin and is still left undisturbed the most superficial portions of dentin are liable to become carious, that is it becomes infected dentin. This dentin is that which suffers the greatest degree of damage due to the carious process, and following characteristics are observed. Mushy appearance due to the prolonged demineralization caused by the lactic acid produced by the cariogenic bacteria, coupled to the degradation of the collagenous matrix by the bacterial proteolytic enzymes and the host's own matrix metalloproteinases, the dentine is considered necrotic, it has a very high bio-load, and due to the loss of its tubular structure it is considered a very poor bonding substrate and must be removed prior to restoration of the tooth. Low compressive strength The loss of the tubular structure found in sound dentine and even caries affected dentine means that in order for full function to be returned to the tooth, and to prevent the tooth coming to greater harm under occlusal load, the infected dentine must be removed.